Wherever he exhibited, he drew record crowds. And with the crowds came the critics and controversy, for his work is praised or condemned worldwide. You either love him or hate him, for Tretyakov really struck a blow at the starving artist myth. There are more Tretyakov paintings and prints displayed internationally than of any other artist, past or present. He is a continuous and staggering success. From his earliest days, Tretyakov was contemptuous of prevailing opinions and enslaving conventions. Had he been affected by public sentiment and opposition in a land to which he came as a stranger, he would not have discovered that single-mindedness and faithfulness of purpose needed no other reward than continued opportunity and renewed inspiration. These he exploited to the full advantage of his art. The Cape where Tretyakov made his home is a long way from the land of his birth. But who is he? And what circumstances brought him to South Africa? Vladimir Gregorovich Tretyakov was born in Russia in 1913 in an industrial city in icy Siberia to a wealthy landowner who had eight children. Of six sons, Tretyakov was the youngest. The Russian Revolution in 1917 forced the family to flee to Harbin in North China, where life was considerably different and where hardship and struggle to survive set the pattern for the remainder of his adolescent years. Tretyakov revealed a natural talent for drawing very early on in life. At 11 years of age, he was orphaned, and it was not long before he was augmenting the family income by busying himself after school hours, drawing portraits, and working at the Russian Opera House. He mixed paints for decor and helped with scenic design. On the strength of his earnings, he managed to remain at school until he was 16, by which time he'd edged his way into the cultural circles of Harbin, and won a reputation as being a cheerful youngster who enjoyed hard work as long as it was with brushes, paint and canvas. This early theatrical environment influenced his work and is evident in later Tretyakov canvases which delight in colourful and varied backgrounds. <laughs> 